another video here. We're going to have one on uh, swing arm bearing replacement. Uh, to remove the bearings, <clears throat> which I've already done, um, you would just pop out the seals of the screwdriver, just uh, pry up on them, pop them out. And to actually remove the needle bearings, you take a socket that is about the size and then just pound the heck out of it, they will pop out. Now, to install the new bearings, it's actually fairly easy. The best way to do it is with a uh, with a press, but again, I do not have a press. <coughs> so, we're going to use the socket method. You shouldn't be pounding on thrust bearing, uh, needle bearings, but so be it. Um, first, we're going to do the inner. Now, on the bearings, you will notice there's a more of a curved side and the flat side. Flat side has numbering on it. That always gets installed towards you. So, we're going to start with the uh, the inner. We've already got this side in. Put just a dab of grease in there. <clears throat> and these really slide in. Once you've cleaned the swing arm, they should slide in fairly easy. Put you some grease on the, the actual outer shield of the needle bearing. And simply want to make sure you've got it in there straight. And that's the, the, the key. And put your socket on there. Your extension. <clears throat> We're actually pounding through the other side, so we've already got the other one on. And it shouldn't take much force. You can see not, not a whole lot of force. Now these inner bearings, they have to be in a uh, recessed a little bit, a specified amount. It's 0.33 of an inch. Uh, or 8.5 millimeters, something like that. So I've got the calipers, digital calipers set at 0.33, and I'm using this filler. I know I'm not in far enough yet. And that depth will vary probably upon manufacturer, so this is for an 3 YZ250F, so still not in quite far enough. measure and that appears to be dead on. Let's take the socket out and check it. One little light tap. We will be good to go. So. be good. So there's the inner bearing. Next thing we'll want to do is install the outer bearing. And I'm going to apologize for the quality of this video. I'm trying to get a lot of things done today, so um, I'm kind of rushing through this one, unfortunately. Inner bearing, same thing, or the outer bearing, I should say. Numbering goes towards you. We'll dab just a little bit of grease in there. Some of the bearing. Install the same way. Again, the best way is if you do have a press, but these are, I'm not putting a lot of force on these, so. Now the outer bearings are going to be flush with the inside of the lip. So, got it about there. Using a bigger socket so I can get it exactly flush. There we are. Next step, let's go back to the inner. want to put your uh, your seal in and you simply actually that's the incorrect seal this all ball set came with two sets of seals here's the seal again you want to put some grease I'm just using Harley-Davidson grease um, 
from what I've had on my previous Harleys. Put that in. And this, you can usually just press in. If not, do not use the hammer method with this. Just get a vise and a, a vise or a, or a, a set of um, a C-clamp, sorry. And then uh, get something flat and press it in with that. There's that one. The last step would be to put your thrust bearings. Um, this uses Teflon. There's one, there's the Teflon washer, another. And then the very last step would be installing your outer seals, which again, don't, you know, don't use a uh, hammer method with the outer seals, and then just press those into place. And that's virtually it for the actual swing arm. Uh, probably do the linkage in another video. Essentially it's the same, a couple different parts, but uh, that's, there you have it, that's how you do it. Again, this, this is about the same for every bike, but the, the inside depth, that may be a little different, so pay attention to that with your manufacturer's manual and whatnot. Please post any questions, comments, um, and rate and subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.